Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to share five different Pomodoro timers that you can download, install. We're going to jump right into it. We're not going to have any introductions because I respect your time. So let's go. So the first one here that I want to uh, share with you is Focus Me. Now, this is one of the probably as far as I can remember, this is the one that I remember using for the like first ever Pomodoro timer that I ever installed and used. It's also a website blocker. And so that is very important. If you get distracted quite easily, um, you can block different websites so that you can really focus on your tasks uh, at hand. All right. So this one is focus me. One of the first ones that I used, I had a really good experience with it. Lots of different things that you can use in here, and it's really, really straightforward. It is also a uh, Chrome extension if that is the type of Pomodoro timer that you're looking for. All right. So very, very useful. Again, focus me. All right. And so with all of these, I will make sure to include a link down below in the description so that you can go and check it out directly and install it. So just don't need to try to figure it out. Just go down to the description and click the link in there. All right. So the next one here that I want to share with you is called focus to do. Now this one is a little bit different. You can access focus to do um, on pretty much any device also as well as your Chrome extension, if that's what you want to use it for, but you can access it from Android, your desktop, iPhone, uh, you know, on your mobile. Um, and it's not just a Pomodoro timer. It's also a bit of a task management application. So you can set up different tasks. You can set deadlines, due dates. You can also even run reports. So you can see here, you can run reports of the different things that you did. And really, if you really want to get down into st statistics and break down what you're doing now, you can also repeat those things set reminders. Um, there's a bunch of things that you can do. It's quite involved and it's probably of all of the ones that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Um, this is probably the one that has the most features. It's probably the most feature rich Pomodoro timer that I'll share with you today. All right. So this one is called focus to do. Here is the uh, Chrome page here on the Chrome marketplace. And so you can download this as well. All right. So that is the second one there focus to do. So uh, hopefully you are enjoying this. If you are, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We talk a lot about this stuff around uh, productivity and also stuff around uh, tools that are going to be really useful for remote workers. All right. So now let's get into the third uh, Pomodoro uh, tool here at the Pomodoro timer, also known as tomato timers. Um, so the third one here is called noisily. Now this one is a little bit different. The twist to this one is that it actually will play some background sounds to mask noises. So kind of like white noise. Um, and so we'll help you with that so that you can really focus in to study and relax and do that sort of thing. All right. So there's going to be playlists that they also that they've already curated and they'll share with you if you want to do that sort of thing. Now, for me, um, this is a great idea. I think music is a, a really fantastic idea. You know, I, I, I listen to um, usually jazz, nothing with vocals in it, just because it really doesn't work really well for me. So uh, when I'm working, so I listen to a lot of jazz, smooth jazz, that sort of thing, lots of uh, classical music, uh, you know, lots of that sort of music. If I have uh, vocals, it tends to be very distracting for me. I can't listen, listen to someone else's voice or talking. I can't listen to podcasts when I work. Um, it has to be uh, sort of that, you know, that jazz type music. So I use Spotify. I use, I'll, I'm going to share the, the Pomodoro timer that I use personally. Uh, but when it comes to music, I use Spotify um, playing in the background. I've got different playlists, um, you know, playing that I choose from. So, but this one, um, it's already kind of incorporating that already into the app itself. Uh, so it is uh, available for you as well. So it's also available for Android as well. All right. So there you go. So you have noisily. All right. And so the uh, fourth one that I'm going to be sharing with you here is something a little bit different. Um, but uh, again, another Pomodoro timer is called Tide. All right. So this one is 
a little bit more simple, a little bit more basic. It is just a timer. Uh, it's also used, you know, from the iOS and also Android, um, but it also will give you access to white noise that can play while you are working, all right? And so very straightforward, customized, you know, uh, focus and break time, uh, Pomodoro technique, of course, uh, and it allows you to do exactly what you need to do with Pomodoro timers, which is the work time and then break time and it signals when you are to do that. All right. And here we are at the fifth one, which is the one that I use. This is the Pomodoro timer that I use on a daily basis. And that is this one, Marinara Pomodoro Assistant. This is so simple and that's why I really like this one. All right. So you can see here that uh, I'm actually going to show it to you here because I have it installed and I use it on a regular basis. Uh, so on the top right here, you'll see uh, the Marinara Pomodoro Assistant. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to open up options. OK, can't really see it because my camera is covering it, but this is the options. And so you can see that uh, I can set the duration. So right now I'm looking at the du duration or duration. So this is the focus time. So there's really three main types of timers that you can set up, which is one is focus time. This is your work time. So how long do you want the work sessions to last? Uh, so focus time. So I set mine to 17 minutes. Actually, really good uh, question uh, by Mary Lou uh, Mandel, one of our friends. Um, she commented in my a previous video why I chose 17 minutes. Now, the reason why I chose 17 minutes is that 15 minutes I found was a little too short and 20 minutes was a little too long. So I kind of sat and settled into 17 minutes focus time uh, for each cycle. Now, let me know for you, what is your ideal focus times, uh, you know, length? Let me know. Uh, maybe you do 10 minutes, maybe you do 15 minutes, maybe you do 30 minutes, right? Something that you kind of have to test and play with um, as you go. All right. You can also set a timer sound. You can put a sound when the timer's done. When the 17 minutes done, you can put a little timer sound. So there's different options for the sound here, um, which is really good because again, I'm listening to music. I'm not usually having this window open. And so it's nice to have the timer. Now, it also allows you to have uh, notifications, right? You can have notifications on your desktop or show a new tab notification with a sound as well, right? So again, very good, very visual. It really opens up on the screen itself. So it lets you know you can't miss it. You can't miss that, hey, it's time to go to work. Uh, so it's really helpful to do that. Now, the second type of time that you need to then set up is a short break. And the third one is a long break. So short break is exactly what it is. How how short, you know, there's short breaks, right? So I set mine to seven minutes, gives me enough time to get up, uh, get some water, maybe coffee, stretch, you know, that sort of thing. Check in with the family, come back um, and then do my thing and get back into another focus session. Right. Um, it also asks you if you want a desktop notification or a new tab notification and also allows you to play sound as well. Um, and then the third one here, the third type of uh, session or timer is a long break. And so I can set up when that long break happens. Um, so I have mine every fourth break, every fourth uh, break. So, you know, uh, three short breaks and then the long break will happen. Um, and how long is that break? I set mine to 15 minutes, right? So it's about, you know, twice as long as the short breaks. Um, 15 minutes is nice. I can actually even go for a real quick walk. I used to check the, uh, you know, check the, even sometimes we'll check the mail or I'll go do a quick uh, walk uh, around uh, my building or something like that. Uh, and it's really, really nice, right? So uh, that happens on the long break. And again, same uh, options when it comes to notifications for your desktop uh, or your new tab and also sound as well. So uh, there you have it. That is basically the five different types of Pomodoro apps that I would suggest you check out. Um, I showed you the one there that I have selected and that's the one that I go to all the time every single day. And so hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Check out these other videos that you see on the screen here uh, that hopefully will help you with what you're doing on a day to day basis. And again, my name is Rob Balasabas. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.